hello everyone welcome to this video so in our previous video we have completed this logging module okay in this video actually i will try to write this uh, utils module okay so what is uh, exactly utils okay uh, utils is nothing but suppose those uh, like you can say function you will be using frequently in your code so we can call this function as utility function okay suppose there is a function i will be using called uh, like readyml file okay so i will be using this readyml method so I might use this readyml uh, method, okay, in my every component, okay. That's why instead of writing this thing again and again, what I can do, I can just keep this uh, function inside this utils, okay, inside this utils. And whenever I need that method, okay, I will be just simply importing that one, okay, from this utils, okay. That's how, uh, like those functions, like you will be using frequently in your code, you can mention inside utility, okay. So that's why we use this kinds of utility related, uh, like you can say module, okay. Not only this readyml, there are many functions actually we use. If you if you have already implemented any data science project, okay, I think you remember like we also need like create directories, okay, create directories method. Like suppose I want to create some directory, okay. So instead of like writing that logic again and again, so what I will do, I will just create one method, okay. I will just create one uh, like uh, function and that, that function I will be calling, okay. Because here we are uh, trying to follow the modular coding approach, okay. So we don't want to repetitive code, okay. We'll be writing as a module whenever i need i'll just import simply okay then i also need save json okay load json then save bins okay load bins then also if you want to check any file size okay so you can implement another uh, function called get size okay so that's how actually you can uh, mention different different function okay in this utility uh, you can say module okay so for this what i will do i will just open this utils okay inside uh, src inside uh, cnn classifier i have created utils folder okay so i'll just simply open this utils folder and here i will be creating one file okay let's create uh, so here i will just uh, click new file and i'll just give give this name called common okay common um, common.py because this is going to be some common you can say utility okay so i'll just give common.py now here i will uh, write all this uh, like you can say uh, function okay so i already prepared all this utility related function so let me copy paste from here so first of all let's import some of the libraries so these are the libraries are needed okay so first of all here i'm importing a uh, ways and i'm importing as you can see box dot exception and box value adder okay so here if you see i'm also trying to add this exception handler okay in my code suppose if some exception occurs okay it will give me which line it is giving the exception okay what is the error okay it, it, it will provide everything okay that's why i'm using this box uh you can say module okay as you remember i installed this box python box uh, this this module okay so this module has already this exception uh, class okay you can use it uh, apart from that, I'm also importing this YAML because YAML I need, okay? Then I'm also importing my logger, okay? As I already implemented logger in my previous uh, video. And JSON job lib, okay? And there is one thing I'm also importing. This is the new thing, okay? Uh, called insure annotation. I will show you like what is in insure annotation. And an another thing I'm importing called box, I uh, import config box, okay? So what is config box? I will also explain, okay? Why I'm using it. Then path, okay? And typing. So these are the library actually you need. Now let's mention all the uh, utility related um, function okay i'll be using in this uh, project okay so guys these are my utility related uh, function i will be using in my code uh, so the first function i will be using called read yaml okay so basically if you give any yaml file path it will give you all the so if you give any yaml file path in this uh, like function it will provide all the content okay uh, present in this yaml file okay and here if you see i'm returning as config box so basically if you give any path okay if you give any yaml file path so it will return as a config box output okay what is the config box output i will tell you then here one thing i am also mentioning here one decorator i am taking called insure annotation okay this thing okay why i am taking insure annotation i will also show you just a, just a minute then i am also taking create uh, directories okay so if i want to create any directories i will just mention the path okay of the directories it will be creating then save json then load json okay save bins load bins and get size uh, so guys these are my utility related uh, function okay i have already taken and one thing uh, if you are able to see one red line okay below this uh, i mean uh, your module okay L suppose let me show you suppose if i select some other environment okay so you will see some red mark here so yeah okay now if you see it's showing some uh, like uh, red mark here or yellow like uh, this mark 
so that means you haven't selected your correct environment okay so at, at the below like here you will get in vs code okay here you actually you can select your current environment okay you have uh, like created so for me i created uh, something called uh, so guys see this is my environment i have created uh, cnn cls okay so i'll uh, select this current uh, this environment okay now you will see this error will disappear okay so it is coming because you haven't selected your current, like uh, environment you have created and uh, like the requirement actually you installed okay in that environment actually you, you just need to open it up then it will show so uh, this thing only now what i need to do uh, let me explain this what is this config box and what is this insert annotation okay so this two thing why i'm using this one okay so for this i will open my uh, notebook okay i created inside resource okay i think you remember so i'll open this trials.ipynb file okay and uh, here make sure you have selected the kernel so for me uh, existing Jupyter server Python environment. I will be selecting Python environment. Okay. And this is my CNS CLS. Okay. The environment I created. So I will select this one. First of all, let me tell you like why I need this config box. Okay. So see, whenever we try to read any kinds of YAML file, okay. YAML file returns your content as a dictionary. Okay. Suppose if I give you one example, so suppose D is one dictionary. Okay. Here I have some key value pair. Suppose let's write key. And inside that key, I have some value. Okay. Again, let's say I have another key. Key one. Okay. And I have value two or value one. Okay. Value one. Okay. Suppose you have one dictionary like that. Okay. Let me execute. Okay. Now, if you want to take this value, okay, like the first value. So, how we will take it? Okay. In dictionary, what we do usually? I just need to call by the key okay so I just need to provide the key then it will return me the value okay see it is returning the value but if I want to okay do like that suppose d dot if I just write key okay and if I now press enter so it will give me dict object has no attribute key okay that's how I can take this uh, like value okay it it doesn't allow me but what i want i will be taking like that okay because this thing is like more convenience okay instead of writing this thing if i am taking my configuration like that okay it would be very much easy for me okay so for this i can use this config box okay so now let's import con config box so from box i'll import config box okay so let's import this library now i will take the same dictionary okay uh instead of taking all the thing i will just take this dictionary okay now what i will do i will again define one uh like config box object here okay config box object and inside that i will paste this uh like values and keys okay now if i execute now if i print d2 now if i print d2 now you'll see this object is nothing but config box okay this is a config box now if i want to access this value okay so what i will do i'll just write d2 dot key okay if i just write d2 dot key now see it will give me the value okay so now see it is allowing me like that okay so that's why i am using config box so if you see whenever it will return okay this uh, content uh, from your yaml file okay i'll just call like that suppose if, if i have some value here i, I want this uh, suppose if, if i have lots of keys okay i want to take the value i will just name with the key name and it will give me the value okay so that is the convenience of this config box okay you can use it so this is a one of the like a uh, new library uh, okay uh, i was exploring and what i feel like okay this thing i can use in my code okay so that's why i have added this one now this was all about config box now let's see what is this uh, ensure annotation okay this decorator why i'm using so for this i will again open my trials dot ip when be now to explain this one okay so first of all let me define one method okay so i'll just define one method called i'll define one function called get uh, product okay so it will return you the product of two value so it will take the first value let's name it x okay it should be one integer value and uh, the second value is y okay it is also going to be integer now what would, what would be the return type okay if i am giving two integer also the return type would be one integer okay so i'll mention integer okay so this is my function get product okay now inside that 
uh, what it will do it will just uh, multiply the value okay so i'll just return x multiply by y okay so that's it now let's call this method okay now let's call this function so here i'll provide uh, suppose let's say x is equal to uh, 3 or let's take 2 and y is equal to let's take uh, 4 okay now if i hit enter so see uh, like uh, 4 multiply by 2 it would be 8 okay it's returning but suppose let's say what i'm doing although see i have defined this uh, your input should be integer okay x should be also integer y should be also integer but let's say i have given one string okay instead of four like that i have given four as a string okay now if i again hit enter see it is still working okay and it's giving four four okay uh inside the string okay but although see i have defined it would be integer it would be also integer okay but here i have provided a string but it is all, all, also working okay so suppose you have written a big code and you have defined your function like that and you have also mentioned the data type okay you have also mentioned your data type but still it is working okay so at that time you will get confused like what is happening in my code okay so to overcome this issue actually we can use this uh ensure annotation okay how so let's copy the same function okay first of all let's import this uh ensure annotation so from ensure okay i'll import uh ensure annotation ensure annotation this okay this thing now let's import now i will again define this uh, same function okay and uh, what i will do i'll just call this as decorator okay like ensure annotation okay now let's execute and now let's run the same thing okay now let's see what will happen okay now the first thing i will run uh, both thing are integer okay it will work now if i try to execute the second one okay and the second value i'm giving as string okay now it will throw me an error okay here if you see see guys it's giving error like ensure error okay it's telling argument y uh, of type 2 does not match annotation type okay because see here you have mentioned it should be integer but you are providing as a string okay so that's why we can handle this kinds of error okay we can handle this kinds of hidden error okay by using this ensure annotation okay now i think it should be clear why i'm using ensure annotation in uh, on top of my every function okay because i have defined my return type okay what should be the return type of this function okay i want that return type only okay and i also mentioned like the data type okay i want here okay so that's why actually it's needed okay so yes guys this is all about and we have completed this uh, utils module okay and here these are the utilities you need now what i will do i haven't committed my changes because uh previously also i have created my logging but i didn't commit so if you click here source control here if you see these are the file would be committed okay now let's commit these are the changes so i'll open my terminal and i'll just write git add okay then let's write git commit hyphen m uh utils and uh logger added okay then i'll just write git push origin main okay so it will push my code yeah so we have successfully pushed it and we have completed our uh this uh utils module okay uh so yes guys this is all about from this video so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time